Andrew McCart, IFL TV, probably sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with Irish boxing legend. It's okay to call you that, right? Well, if you're legend, you're old, isn't it? Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> no, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to go there with you. Thanks for calling me that. Thank uh, you. We McCulloch, we're Jason Quigley. What more can we say? What a fight that was with Shane Mosley Jr. You were ringside, you were in the corner. Um, just talk to me about the fight itself. Yeah, it was a great fight. You know, before we get into the fight, I was offered to train Jason, Andy Lee, his coach, and we put things together and we, we talked about what we were going to do. And the fight, we you heard me yell, kept yelling, and Jason worked the jab, popped that jab out and score shots, win the rounds. And you know, he comes close, then bang the body, bang the head. And he was doing that, and, and the judge has seen it, and they give the right to guide decision. One judge gave it a draw. Um, when, and you, I know you're the coach, but in your head, are you scoring the rounds as they go on? Are you like Jason, he's up one, he's up two? Do you, do you score the round as the fight goes on? Or do you, how far did you, how many rounds did you have Jason up in, so at the end of that fight? Draws, even Jason said that there was a draw. You can't argue with the draw because the rounds were so close. Mm -hmm. But the good judges will look at what the guy's doing effectively. And Jason's jab was effective. And then it's, when he did push forward the last two rounds, I told him I told him that he needs to push forward the next the last two rounds and run through. Mosley, which he did that. Mm -hmm. And Mosley's so tough. He's a tough, tough kid, and he, you know, he's got the pedigree from his dad. But Jason, you know, he stood, stayed with it, and he, he pushed forward to the end and, and finished strong. And, and he won the fight, in my, in my view. Are you surprised that some, some of them, well, Shane as well, landed some big shots, and Jason yeah. obviously landed some big shots. Are you, are you surprised at how many big shots both of those men yeah, you're managed right. to take? Both guys did land big shots, and I, I really think Jason was a harder puncher. He affected um, Mosley more than he did. Mm. But I say Mosley, he was cracking hard enough, as, and Jason, but they stood in, when they stood and traded like that, it was actually, it was like a flashback there to a guy like Mickey Ward or something. It was like not. Oh, it was what are you, you against Gohazan and, and are you against the fight? Like, like, like that, but he just. Something like that. There, was, there could be a fight in a future game. But then, guys, mm. they, they fought such a great fight. And, and you know, and as Jason said, people have promised rematch and don't get it. He didn't get one before. Mm -hmm. But and Jason's the type of guy who would fight him again, no problem. And the fans would love it. And it was a full audience. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, such a great fight. Both guys fought a good fight. And Jason's jab was the key to the, the whole fight. And he. And he the jab proved a factor for the judges to score right. Talked about there was, I think there was a six, the middle, well, half, six or seventh round, I think it was. Jason started to go on his back foot around, started to dance yeah. a little bit. Was that, was that just to do, basically take the sting out of some of uh, Mosley's punches as, as the later rounds were coming on? Because he did eat a couple of rounds on the uh, shots in the fifth yeah. round, sorry, and yeah. then, then you seen in the sixth round he was going around on his bike a little bit, on his back foot, trying to dance a little bit, stay on his, uh, stay on. Yeah. No, we, no, we want him to stay away because. Mosley at about the halfway point was he started to sort of trade a little bit and he started sitting his punches more and we wanted Jason to sort of move a little bit then attack him more at the end of the round because he got tired Mosley got tired at the end of the rounds and he started to he took like a round or two off a little bit but I say he was still winning the rounds anyway and I say it was good good tactics because I say it's, it's not 12 rounds like a, a real mm -hmm. championship fight but it's 10 and it's long enough so he had time to just go down and finish strong in the fight and he started strong as well he wants Boo Boo Andrade next, he's got that, that uh, I think it's a NABA WBO World Champion or whatever the heck you it's call it. International yeah, it's one of them. It's, it's, one, of them national, belts, it's one of them with Putin. The ranking that, belts, people, yeah. People think they're World Championship, but they're, they're putting in the top 10. Yeah. And then you're ready to fight for the championship, so. He called out uh, Boo Boo Andrade. Do you, is that a th fight that you will be chasing next? Because we do know that Demetrius Andrade does. Demetrius Andrade, you know, he's a type of fighter who I think is really good. Mm -hmm. Is he beatable? Yeah. You know, there's things you can do with people, and, and you can see their strengths and weaknesses. And, and he's quick, he's he's accurate, and um, he hits hard enough. He's not a big puncher, but he but he's he's, he's unbeaten. Mm -hmm. You know, he's he's a tough guy to fight, awkward. But Jason's he's he's already dead in the amateur. He's travelled the world as an amateur and fought in multi nations, and he's seen all different styles. And that fight can be made was fantastic. How confident you are that that man through there from Donegal will be a world champion? I believe he'll be a world champion. I told him that was a that was my last talk with him actually tonight. He said this is it. You know, this is this is the next level. Mm. This is your chance to beat the next level. There's no other levels. Mm. The next level is the championship of the world. And and he, he listened and he and I believe it. He's mm. at that level. He's, he just moved himself to the championship level. Next fight's for the world championship, so he's at the world level right now. The fight was a war. It was a great fight to watch ringside. People, were, every shot that was landing, you heard the crowd go wild and stuff like that. Shades of you, wasn't it? Wait. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> but maybe a bit of the crash in the end. But you know, I say me and Andy. You know, Andy told me I say I'm grateful for them guys for bringing me on board. I really am, because he couldn't travel. But you know, Andy 
working jab, we do that. I said, Dan, I'm going to do this, going to do this, do this. He said to me, you know what you're doing, you know, that's perfect. So it wasn't like he quit questioned each other. Mm -hmm. We knew what we're going to do. And I, I took what Andy was teaching him and I said, I'm doing this. I did this today, I did this. Got him sitting down a little bit more on his punches. Mm -hmm. And Andy was, no question about it all. Are you surprised? He actually just texted me right after two. It's the, of, it's the middle of the night over there. Yeah, what did he say? What quigley, did he quigley! Jason. <laughs> yeah, one second, I'll be back. Uh, what was you going to say there? Yeah, so were you surprised you didn't manage to get the knockout after landing so many heavy shots? The truth is, I was, I was sitting talking to Stitch, my cup man, and every time, he, every time Jason hit him, he, he, he hurt him. And he was a more effective puncher, like I just said earlier on there. He's definitely more effective, but he just... Jason's not a type of fighter, you know, he's more of a boxer mover. And he, mm. and, but when he is, he... he <laughs> <laughs> His bones, yeah. But, but you know what? If he could become that type of fighter, I think he could get he could get more established there. Well, when it's been an absolute honour no, talking to you, man, and uh, especially throughout this week as well. You, no, you I want to I want to thank I say Andy Andy Lee directly right here because yeah. you know what? Without Andy, I wouldn't have been here. But uh, I love Andy and love Jason, and, and I told him I told Andy there now. I would love to just be part of their future as well. Definitely help them because I'm not one of these guys who's going to go in there and try to change things that yeah. other people do. They're the same team, you know what I mean? And well, it seems to be a good team, and you've gelled well. So no, we gelled. I say I known Jason for a long time before he even turned pro. He was in California for a while. I was there. We, we used to have coffee together, and mm. stuff. so it's not like he was. I was a stranger yeah. coming in. So, but I say Andy reached out to me, and I was I was thankful for him. Unfortunately, he couldn't travel. Like, but you know, maybe in the future you'll see me and Andy in the corner together. Perfect. That'll be a, that'll be two world champions. Two world champions in the corner. World champion being put the belt on. There, there we go. <laughs> then we're absolutely honoured speaking to you, my Thank man, you so and uh, let's go celebrate. Thank you.